bacon one in there. Hotel. This is a beautiful Spanish street. Um, something not so beautiful happening not too far away though, and we're going to head there tomorrow morning. But for now, we're going to get chilled out, get some food, and get prepped for tomorrow. Yeah, so like we just arrived to Spain. We're in this little uh, hotel here. I've just opened the Happy Cow app, and within a mile radius, I've, I've typed in vegan, and there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Within a mile radius, within a walking distance, full vegan places. Now, if I want veg options, alright, there's even more. There's like, oh my god, there's like 50 places more within a mile radius. So like, if you've got this app, if you're like looking for a place, and you're like, I live in Spain, I live in Barcelona, there's no vegan food. Everywhere you go, you can put this in and get vegan options anywhere. And if you if you if you're in a place where there's just none in the Happy Cow app, you go to the supermarket. They got tofu, they got bread, they've got pasta, they got beans, they got fruit, they got vegetables. Where where are these excuses coming from? Like, there's a burger place around the corner. It's called Metacoctelon Make Your Own Vegan Burger. It's a Make Your Own Vegan Burger place. And look at them, they're greasy and juicy. In the back alley in Barcelona, we got a vegan burger place. In the middle of nowhere, I'd say. Uh, table for two. Want to say something about that? Try a bit of kimchi. That looks good. This is chorizo, no pigs were harmed. No gas chambers used. Let's have a try. So like, we went into the little supermarket there, just 24 hour convenience store thing. And we got some vanilla soy and some oats for breakfast with a couple of bananas. Some, you know, vegan food in the middle of Barcelona. So what are you talking about? It's hard to be vegan. We just walked into any supermarket and grabbed soy milk and oats. Boom. Um, I think we've got all that. We've got all of that. Um, but we're thinking of getting a hire car about seven and driving up there and um, getting go, trying to get get some footage in some of the farms that are surrounding it. So this is the town we're going to tomorrow, yeah. uh, Binefar. Yep. And this is a slaughterhouse here. On the map, it looks absolutely massive. Wow. Yeah. This vanilla soy is off the chains. No excuse. All right, so we're just in the farmland area now here in uh, Spain, just outside of Barcelona. So we're heading to a uh, farm, I think it's uh, cows, cattle for beef. So we're gonna see if we can um, get some footage there before we head to the big slaughterhouse. Okay, so I can smell animals now, so I think we're getting a bit closer. The feeding silos on the side of those, they look like factory farms there. So just over here, we've got all the fruit trees here. And over there, they're exploiting animals and murdering them. So fruit trees all surrounding, but over there, just a slave yard. Looks like there's some little hutches there for the calves, um, but we'll go take a closer look. For calves. <laughs> oh. Hello, darling. <laughs> That's a bit of a shame that he's locked in there by himself, isn't it? Yeah. Hello, beautiful. Hello. Poor Bubba. So it looks like this one's fairly empty, but I can smell cows. Maybe they keep them in the barns away from the heat. See all the cattle in there. 
Yeah, I think I can see dairy cows. I think this is a, is this a dairy farm? There were the young calves there. These calves look very, fairly young. Probably been raised for beef. Ear tagged and kept confined like prisoners. So people can eat their bodies. The pigs in there. You can just smell the excrement that they have to live in. These pigs are probably going to the slaughterhouse that we're going to. It just smells so bad. And they, they've got a really good sense of smell, pigs, so that smell of a pig farm never comes off of your skin. It takes days and days. It's really... Little baby piglets. Look at them. Feces all over them. Hello, darling. Those innocent little babies are going to be taken to the massive gas chamber, probably, around the corner. They're covered in their own excrement. Stuck in a little concrete box. You know, factory farms don't differ too much from country to country. Australia, UK, America, oh, just rank hell holes, bacteria laden terrified little babies in there. People eat their bodies. We're just pretending tourists are taking photos. Um, yeah, interesting. Nothing out of the ordinary though. No, not yet. We'd rather eat fruit. No. That's sick. That looks like a bacon facility or something like a pork processing plant. Disturbing seeing those like happy pig statues where they're processing their dead, chopped up bodies in that factory. Craziness. Whenever you see these feeding silos in the side of these big, long, elongated factory things, these look like chicken farms. Let's go to the slaughterhouse. It's just crazy numbers, like 10 million a year potentially. Multiple gas chambers running at once, I would say. So once this is full up and running, this is gonna be the biggest murder factory in Europe. Do you eat animals? No. No, vegetarian? No, no, yes, I, I, I eat a little bit. Little bit? Beautiful animals like dogs. Do you think a little bit of meat is okay for this? A little bit of gas chamber? A little bit of suffering and murder?